American Forces Vietnam Network. This video covers the United States Air Mobile Aviation Platoon, which in 1965 used the Hughes Aircraft Bell UH-1D utility helicopter. We'll be using the version 4 Late War Rulebook. The new version 4 Vietnam Rulebook has been released. And as the version 4 Flames of War rules are a streamlined version of the rules made for beginner play, version 3 rules will still be applied for advanced play. We'll be using all the current Flames of War Vietnam source books, as well as a variant of the Acton Panzer rules, what are called Acton Schnelber. And basically, they're a bolt-on rule set, which are in addition to the Flames of War rules, that I've been given permission to use by Flames of War House of Hanks comics. These bolt-on rules will provide the tools that we require to deal with history appropriately and some of the situations that we're going to encounter during this series. We'll be using all the Vietnam Special Rules, all the United States Special Rules, all the Pavin Special Rules, and all the Free World Helicopter Rules. We're running an Air Mobile Rifle Company, Headquarters Unit, two Infantry Platoons, and this aviation platoon are standard requisites. Everything else is optional. So if you want to start building a list, those are the things that you'll need. Basically three helicopters, two platoons, and the headquarters. The transport helicopters come in loaded on the movement phase of the U.S. turn. They can fire their door guns 16 inches or 160 feet at anything that they see as a target during that time. Then in the next U.S. turn, they land drop off their troops, then fly off. If you pay the price for an aviation section, uh, it means that you can return in subsequent turns to pick up troops and move them around. Slicks can each carry three passenger teams and their door guns fire at 180 degree arcs to each side of the helicopter. The M60 pumps out 550 rounds per minute. <laughs> Mobile operations became widespread throughout Vietnam as American forces sought to bring the enemy to battle. By the end of the war, virtually every American unit had participated in some way in air mobile operations. While no other division was as equipped with helicopters as the 1st Air Cavalry, helicopters could be assigned as needed from independent helicopter units. Also, each CAV troop had their own platoon of infantry. First, the gunships would dive in, spraying the LZs with fire. Yellow smoke, 200 meters, automatic weapons, over. This is 2-1, no sort of country covered. Okay, well, stay trail. I show you got them. Request now, you thought you were firing fast. Okay, we're starting to fire fast now. Then the Huey Slicks would descend line after line, door gunners blasting the area around the landing zones. As soon as the slicks touched down, the troops took up positions along the tree lines. Dedicated air mobile cavalry element gave the Americans a huge advantage. If the ground force got into trouble, then the helicopters could quickly pull them out. It was hot. There was firepower available. Phone call. Right? The McGuire rig was uh, uh, a rope, and it was tied in the bottom of the aircraft and it basically went down and had a, a strap in it. Our aviation platoon is led by Captain Robert Dougherty of Sharon, Oklahoma. He has three slicks and his mission on the night of September the 11th, 1965 is to insert a rifle platoon onto the plains 14 miles south of July. They arrived at the coordinates after sunset and are guided down to the PZ by a man with a strobe light. The door gunners fire suppression fire at the tree line. they're aiming at is gone to ground, concealed, it's at night, they need sixes to hit, they hit nothing. Staying within six inches or sixty foot command control distance, the platoon hovers in. Suddenly, 
the Pavan player flips down a Flames of War Vietnam act on Schnelber card. A VC with a pistol appears between the door gunner's firing arcs of the lead helicopter and fires several rounds at the pilots. The rounds crack through the windshield, but the slicks take evasive action and the helicopters abort the landing. The mission is scrubbed, transports return with the troops to Chu Lai. I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at the Aeromobile Aviation Transport Platoon.